real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Michael Bragg says he and the defendant were on a reality show together. And since they met, the defendant has done nothing but pick on him and try to trigger him. Michael's suing him today for breach of contract. Defendant Andre Hammonds says he's an entrepreneur who moved to LA to pursue his dream of becoming a stylist. And he claims Michael is simply delusional. Andre is countersuing for defamation and emotional distress because he claims Michael's online followers were harassing him. Is that a crown? Yes, yeah, sir. Does it represent <laughs> king or? Official king. A king? Yes, the All official right. king pain. Yes, yeah, sir. You say official what? The official king pain. Oh, okay. Yes, king. all the way from the home of the lituation, where it's always lit lit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you didn't steal that from Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God bless her soul. You know what I'm saying? She gone. <laughs> Tell me how you know the defendant. Give me some background. Okay. So, unfortunately. You hot? I'm talking about weather because you got the fan. <laughs> I'm about to say, you know it's. I'm talking about the fan. He takes it everywhere. Takes everywhere. His fan everywhere. He takes the fan fan everywhere. He wears the crown everywhere. What kingdom he presides over, I have yet to figure that out. Um, but in his mind, he's a delusional king of some sort. So <laughs> you see, he always is somebody's business, sir. Uh, that's why we're here now. Cause he can't mind his own. Business, sugar. Is that a crown? Yes, yeah, sir. Does it represent <laughs> king or official king? A king. Yes, the All official right. king pain. Yes, yeah, sir. You said official what? The official king pain. Oh, okay. It's king. all the way from the home of the lituation, where it's always lit lit. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you didn't steal that from Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Defendant Andre Hammonds claims after a falling out with the plaintiff, the plaintiff's online followers started harassing him. Give me some background on yourself. Okay, so unfortunately, we've been casted on the same reality show. And ever since the first day I met him, he's had it out for me. He's been picking on me, teasing me, poking at me. And we all know what happens That's when- That's part of the show, I'm sure. No, not necessarily. <laughs> what is the show about? The show is about entrepreneurs that move to LA or reside in LA that are chasing their dreams. So. We're supposed to be using a platform to highlight what it is that we do. And, and all he's been doing is chasing me around. Ooh. He's trying to create some entertainment so folks won't turn the channel. That's <laughs> they, what they don't need to him do. for that. That's what I told them. What's that? They don't need him for that. They could just go ahead and send him home if that's what they was looking for. I object. They need something. I object. So. I object, Your Honor. Now see, mm, that's how he was acting you, the day I met him. You come across very entertaining, and so, like I am today, I'm gonna do whatever I can to bring that out, <laughs> because you'll keep people from turning the channel on me today. <laughs> so that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get people to look by doing some crazy stuff. I don't have to do that. Around, I don't have to do what, that, Your Honor. If they already, don't come to your channel, people. then you won't. Just because you walk around there looking like a a king. The king, the official king. Like the king, that's the gonna, they're king. not gonna watch you for that. They have to hear something entertaining and he is trying yes, to bring bitch. that entertainment out. Like I'm trying to bring it out of you. I don't so need keep to telling me about yourself. How'd you grow up? Tell me about you growing up. I grew up in Hayward, California. Okay. Okay, I had an amazing childhood. Guys, everybody loved me all the Good. time. I, you Yes. Ooh. Good. What kind of people? Good. I ain't never had the type of problems Good. in the Bay Area that I'm having in LA. It's like the girls just can't take. <laughs> in LA, they hate on you. You would think that they'd be used to seeing stars <laughs> since they're everywhere in LA. <laughs> so when I get to LA, the girls can't take, and she's been pressed ever since day one. He, Your Honor. I am, uh, can, I, can I take the Go ahead. Down, please? My name is Andre, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I own an online clothing company called Shop Him, and spell H-E-M, <laughs> like the hem of a garment. Stop being rude. And I put the heat in him, okay? I sell beautiful clothing, I'm wearing one of my shirts today, it's called the Rich Silk Button Up. I think you would look lovely in the plum color, <laughs> might I add. And but I put the he, 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 ha! 
in him, okay? Because had he been minding up his business, he, he'd have it. He, we we, we wouldn't story, even be here. Sir, I'm giving my backstory, okay? So I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I moved to Los Angeles in about 2013 after my mother passed away of breast cancer. Um, and I really was going to chase my dreams. Sympathy. I wanted to be a wardrobe stylist, a costume designer, which now I work in film. I work with, you know, influencers and magazines and stuff like that doing, providing fashions. Um, in Los Angeles? Yes, in Los Good. Angeles, where the stars gonna... reside. I'm good. So I'm glad you were able one to one come out there and live your dream. Go Thank ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so one much. Of the stars. So I got That's casted all. on the show. That's why he upset. I'm the star. That's why he Remember upset. That. No. So you're the Honor. one. I'm the star of the show. What's the show? The show is called Chasing L.A. Of course, I am actually chasing L.A. I'm chasing my dreams. And chasing him. Yeah. Oh, yes. no, no, no. That's He's what chasing me. He's chasing me. He's been chasing me. And I'm chasing me. the bag. See, let me tell you what happened, Your Honor. See, the whole time he was chasing me, he wasn't focused on his business. And that's why I went ahead and did what I did. Because I went to teach him a lesson, OK? And the lesson is, focus on the business that pays you. Stop focusing on me. Every time I see him, he's talking about me. He, he, he's playing music, trying to trigger me. He was playing this song um, by Missy Elliott called I Can't Stand the Rain. And the first time that we met, he made it a point to make sure that everybody knew that he thought that I was trash because I had on a bubble coat, like the bag that Missy Elliott had mm -hmm. on in her music video, mm -hmm. I Can't Stand the Rain. So I told him, I said, well, if I look like Missy Elliott, then you look like Akon. And, uh, oh. <sighs> okay, Your Honor, the first thought I met him, I did pay him a compliment. It may have been a perhaps a shady compliment What'd because he was wearing a black bubble coat. And I said, oh my gosh, you remind me of Missy Elliott in the I can't stand the rain music video when she had the trash bag. And I was like, boop, 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 boop. Because that's, you know, that's how to be. I remember. He got mad. You know, he whips his fan out and I look like Akon. So fast forward, we're trying to move forward. I host a lovely party because, you know, I like to throw parties. I like classy, sexy, chic events, right? So I thought, <laughs> this person isn't super chic. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, oh, I can't. The event was, was like, classy. It was chic. Okay? He got everything from the dollar store. What's I chic about not. that? <laughs> chic, baby. Tea. It's chic. Tea. And that's why you're mad. But I will say he's looked nice today than I've ever seen him look. And so I think that I helped him ultimately. I helped him with his image and his style. And so he wasn't stylish before. I think that I helped him ultimately because had I not purchased his LLC and been, and been willing to give it back, somebody else could have it. On an online clothing company called Shop Him and spell him <laughs> like the hem of a garment. Stop being rude. And I put the heat in him, okay? I sell beautiful clothing. I'm wearing one of my shirts today. It's called the Rich Silk Button Up. I think you would look lovely in the plum color, might I add. And but I put the he, 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 ha in him, okay? Because had he been minding up his business, he, he'd have it. He would, would, we wouldn't even be here. here, sir. Defendant Andre Hammonds claims after a falling out with the plaintiff, the plaintiff's online followers started harassing him. Is that what we're here for? Yeah. Eight hundred dollars. Tell yes. me about it. He comes to my party, Your Honor. Well, it's his oh. lawsuit. Okay. Oh, so when I come to his party, Your Honor, um, like I said, he has the music going. It's the Missy Elliott. So immediately, I feel slighted. So I call him out and said, "Why you got this music playing?" Because we had come to the understanding that we were going to let bygones be bygones. So when I get there and you continue, we gonna play the song that to ridicule your jacket. Exactly, exactly. So I show up and he's 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 ridiculing me, um, and I'm calling him out and. He doesn't want to take accountability. He's, ta he's talking about the song is on randomly. So because he's not taking accountability and I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, fool, I'm not a fool. Like he's like, oh, you know, uh, it, it just came on randomly. And I, I'm just like, you know, no, if we're going to move forward, you need to be able to take accountability. That's not all that happened. I wasn't the only person he put out that party. He also snatched my homegirl wig off and put her out the party too. So what happened was when I was at home, cause I left the party before her, I was good at home and in my bed. She called me later on that night, woke me up out of my sleep crying, talking about he had snatched her wig off. And I'm like, so not only is he messing with you, but he's messing with me and everyone else in the group. So I had told them like, you know, well, I've been doing some research on him. And I realized that he doesn't, on his LLC. So I told them like, you know what y'all wanna do? We gotta do something to get back at him because he's been constantly picking on us all season. So they was like, let's do it. 
Let's do it. So they all sent me $25, and I put the rest of the money in to purchase the LLC. Sir, you didn't register the name? Your Honor, my business A lot business of people was, don't know the Yeah, I didn't know. To, and I'm just out of fairness. Like, I was working as a wardrobe seller and a costume designer, and I saw an opportunity for me to do something to further that. And that's what made me launch the, the business. names are trademarked. Yeah, it should be trademarked. Exactly. Yes. So Now, my, sometimes you, you can file with the state. Depending on the state that you're in, it protects it or the state just uses it for its tax and regulation purposes. Yes, sir. The name. So I, was... I don't know what state, or oh, this is California? Yes, sir. Not sure. Uh, but I do know that had you registered, he certainly would not have been able to use it um, nationally as a trademark. Did you trademark it? Otherwise, nobody owns it. You no, have sir. a trademark for it? No, sir. Nobody owns it. How did you register it? With the, the state? The Secretary of State. And you just put as the, you put the name down and then you put the officers of the corporation and the address. And I think LLCs in California requires a full LLC agreement, mm -hmm. a multi-partner or a single partner agreement. Yes, sir. Do you have that? Yeah, I got all that stuff. I got the LLC. What did y'all about submitted? How does he owe you money as opposed to He owes to me other? money because he signed a promissory note. Okay, something he should have learned in business one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and he didn't read a note for what? You loaned me? I tricked you. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't read the documents. That's what happened. It he didn't read the documents. It is fundamental. It's definitely <laughs> fundamental. Uh, <laughs> so, Your Honor. I'm sorry. I just, Your Honor. <laughs> this is the thing, Judge. So he gives me these documents, right? We're like, okay, we're going to meet up. We're trying to move forward, right? Because we have the whole incident at the party. He buys the LLC. I find out about it. We're trying to move forward. So he's like, well, you know, I want you to get your LLC back. However, you have to pay me to get it back. And I'm like, well, why would I pay you? First of all, Your Honor, Girl, I Girl, you offered the, me $800. I'm the he and him. Okay. And I picked the he, 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 ha. Cut it. Ha, I'm ha, ha. in him, your okay. honor. So why would That's I why they're laughing at you now. Why because would I you should have had your business together. That's why they're laughing at you now. Everybody's Let laughing at you. Let me talk. Okay? okay You're more of a jester a than anybody in here. That's why you You're got on that gold shoe looking all classy. Yes. Dance, for me, Dance yes. for me, jester. Dance for me, jester. I'm not mad. Yes, you are. I'm not mad. Your Every honor. king needs a jester. And I don't think that they're laughing at him because they know he's the victim of a theft. Thank you. If it this wasn't was theft. the name of his company. It wasn't company, theft well, because it was never in his name. Yeah, you, but that was some manipulation. And then he tries to make me pay him for the business. You back. offered so to pay for the business. Me, he gives me this stack of papers, right? And it's the the whatever the articles to give the LLC back to me and a couple other documents. He slides a promissory note in the stack. At this point, I'm just trying to come and play nice because I want my business. I saw the pro I got you know? two promissory notes. Multi-partner or a single partner agreement. Yes, sir. Do you have that? Yeah, I got all that stuff. I got the LLC. What did y'all about submitted? How does he owe you money as opposed to He owes to me other? money because he signed a promissory note. Okay, something he should have learned in business one on one. Um and he didn't read a note for what? You loan me? I tricked you. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't read the documents. That's what happened. He it didn't read the documents. It is fundamental. Defendant Andre Hammonds claims after a falling out with the plaintiff, the plaintiff's online followers started harassing him. Was it um, advertised on the internet or anything? What? The name. The, no, no, I just heard him saying it. No, did, when you, you never used the name in public domain? Uh -huh. Me? Yes. Uh in none of your videos when you was talking about me, you never said shop him? I've said it. Oh, okay. Thank I you. I said, I mean, because after I bought I the business, it became mine. So I did start using the name as mine, and I asked her to stop using Who my was name. Using it first. But it's my name. If you cared about your name, you would have went and purchased. You no, would have went and registered your business. The reason I ask you because <sighs> you were within the law in everything you did up until about 15 years ago, when folks like you start grabbing names, what do they call cyber sitting or something yeah. of that nature? Mm -hmm. Sell a website. Huh? Yeah, they, website they go and register the name, a person, my name, somebody had my name. Yeah. Oof. That's what they did, it's called cyber sitting, where you get the name and you make the person buy it back from you. You had to buy my name back. Mm. 
I didn't make him buy it back. He offered to pay for the name, and that's why we had the offer. promissory note. I, that's why we had a promissory note. So I was, I was, was going to keep it, and I was going to let it expire, and then he was going to have to go get it back himself. But being the generous king, the official king that I he... am, I allowed him to transfer the name from mine back to he, well, when? to his. When? Uh, 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 well, I gave him the transfer papers in February, February, uh, fifth, February fifth, of right? and, huh? Of what year? Twenty twenty two. And he promised that he was going to pay. He was getting Did some money. Did you use it from nineteen? Because then that when uh, you registered, you took the name in two thousand and nineteen, November of nineteen. He took it 21, in February 21. of 2021. Yeah. Okay, and so that was an entire year. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So what did you do with it during that year? Um, I Taunt promoted me. it. Um, I, I was, uh, 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 um, you know, talking a business, you know, um, thinking of, like, different did ways. Did you use it to gain business? I didn't gain no business. I didn't make no monies. Um, I mm. did it. Solely to teach him a lesson. It? I honestly did it to teach him a lesson, and that lesson was to mind his business, mind the business that pays him. He should have never been poking at me. What's your counterclaim for, sir? One thousand for emotional distress mm -hmm. and defamation. I have been very stressed out. First of all, I'm a gentleman of a certain age, and stress takes its toll on my hairline, my skin, my mental, everything. And you I've ain't been about the hairline. very stressed. It, it's strong, ain't it? It's it look good. Oh, oh, you hating, baby? Oh. You hating big time today? You and your big hater bag. You upset. Your honor. Yeah. Anyway, you upset. he was stressing me out, taunting me online. He claims that he's like this youth, big YouTuber with all of these subscribers. His subscribers were coming to my Instagram page, harassing me, leaving comments, making fun of me about my business. Like All just, because of which incident? That the, one the LLC incident, yes, because he would go live and like talk to like his viewers about it and kind of get them riled up. He calls them... I think like the Crown family or something like that. So how the, long had you all been friends? I had known him maybe we like less than six months. When we never oh, okay. really were friends. So you all first day, I knew him for about six months when he bought the. And that's why we're here. I keep telling y'all, he is him. It's his. He energy. need to get over it's his dark energy. Ooh, All thanks. right, gentlemen. And the defamation, how does he owe you for that? Well, I feel like by purchasing my brand, he's defaming me because he's not the heat in him. He's basically essentially trying to go and be me. Like, and I feel like it's defamatory to my business, to my brand, to people that, you know, want to purchase from me. Like, it just ruins well, everything. Well, there's two laws that are operating here. One is not recent, and it fits in here. And the other one, as I said, last 10, 15 years of cyber sitting can't get a person's name and not use it and then try and sell it back to them. It fits into that. But secondly, even if that law didn't exist, trademark law, that's what names are, not copyrights, folks. Trademarks must also be used within a year. If they're not used within a year, they lapse and you no longer have that trademark. So he doesn't have the trademark anyway anymore That's because, because it's been a year and he can't show evidence that he used it in commerce. So what happened was before the year was up, we had a sit down on February 5th mm -hmm. and I signed the transfer documents to transfer 100% of the ownership of the LLC to him. Now, before he filed that, he was supposed to pay me, but what he did was he filed the documents without my knowledge, and on March 11th, the, the transfer occurred. Defendant Andre Hammonds claims after a falling out with the plaintiff, the plaintiff's online followers started harassing him. What page? Are you page three. Three? You notice that the LLC is in his name now. The rightful owner. California Secretary of State, okay. LLC Articles of Organization. And I just want to say one thing. It was never a cyber bullying type of thing. I never cyber bribed city. him for his mm -hmm. LLC. I never was like, oh, if you pay me, I don't, I never did. It wasn't about the money. It was to teach him a lesson. I never came to you and said, oh, girl, you got to pay me. You came to me and said that I will give you the money for your LLC. So apparently in his Whatever kingdom, you spend delusion what runs you... rapid. Because I didn't offer to pay for anything. Why would I offer you knew, to pay? You knew he was an operating yeah. entity. And you went and took the name of his operating entity. And you did it 
to uh, to spite him, not to operate a business in that name, mm -hmm. which is still might have been a little shaky. Well, but you we were talking about it. We were in the works. Trademarked it to get back at him, not to operate a business. He had an operating business with that name, and he's going to keep it. Your claim is dismissed. You do have the trademark in your name now, and you can keep that. This other mess is dismissed also. Your counterclaim for defamation, et cetera. You got everything you needed to build your business or to continue. This is trying to start a promissory note. Yes. He promised to pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to conclude that was illegal. It's an illegal document because mm -hmm. you took his business name to, for spite. Not for a legitimate it wasn't for use. Spite. It was to teach him a lesson, Judge. Speak, Your Honor. Speak That's what spite it. is. <laughs> it was to teach him a lesson, Judge. Speak, Your Honor. Your Honor. Have a good yes. day, yes. That is, uh, uh. Yeah, really tried that. Twerk for the judge, twerk for the judge, twerk for the judge, okay. I would like to say that you lost fair and square. No, I didn't lose your obsession trash, with the he and him. No, it you're the one that's successful. Today. You're the one Go that's successful. Go run over I'm to glad your little that you kingdom. Got your I'm glad that I can help you Clack get your, your little fan so and keep being with the official jealous. King Bang. The Something unofficial. That you could never be. Oop.